Hey guys, it's Kay, and this is the Hisense U7A, the 55 inch ULED TV. Now I've been using this for about 6 months, nearly 7, so I wanted to share my experience with you guys. Now I do know that the new U9A series is out now, and it looks absolutely incredible, but they will be in a different price category, so I know a lot of people will still be looking at this one, its predecessor. So I want to talk about all the things this TV does extremely well, and maybe some of the things Hisense could improve on, so let's get started. First let's talk about design, it's absolutely beautiful and the panel is super thin. The back design is a nice thin approach with no protruding large TV stand. The panel is vertical which gives a great viewing experience and it looks great on my media cabinet. I like the thin bezels. The minimum gap is a simple but clean look and I'm sure you'll appreciate it as much as me. Now you do get good port selection on this TV. You get 4 HDMI ports, two of these being the latest HDMI 2 version with HDCP 2.2 support. Then the audio from this TV is absolutely astounding with those backward facing subwoofers. The sound mode being easily adjusted with the on screen controls, with even more sound adjustments available in the menu system, including Dolby Digital. The most important thing on a TV is the picture quality, and this is where I think the 55U7A excels. Of course, this is a ULED, so you get those deep, incredible blacks, vibrant colours with incredible viewing angles, even at extreme angles. This panel is extremely sharp, with the processing being handled by its quad-core processor, with the motion being handled very well by this TV. In fact, much better than my Plasma Panasonic TV. This TV also supports any view, cast and stream, which lets you share content from your smartphone, tablet or computer, and show it on the big screen. You can even cast your gaming from your mobile phone, which has revived my mobile gaming mojo. I also liked how easy it was to get this TV to look great. I just had to do a few tweaks. I just set it to HDR mode and I just did a few things for more vibrant colour and it was already looking fantastic. The colours are punchy but not overwhelming. It's got great sharpness and great contrast. So this is how I've been enjoying this TV for the last few months now. But you can calibrate it to your personal preferences. Now if you're a gamer, you're going to be very impressed with this TV because you don't notice any input lag whatsoever. There is a games mode in the picture presets that should be switched on to get the lowest possible lag time and it looks absolutely phenomenal on the PS4 Pro at 60 frames per second and HDR. Now a handy thing about the remote is it comes with all its dedicated application buttons, making for seamless switching between apps. Overall, I've had a great experience with the U7A ULED TV, and I'd definitely recommend this if you're looking for a 4K Ultra HDR TV this year. It's got a fantastic looking panel, awesome thin design. Personally, I think it's one of the nicest looking TVs out there. And with the built-in subwoofer, it's definitely some of the best sound I've heard from a built-in speaker system. It also upscales very well, and it handles motion very well with its own sports mode. This TV has been out for a while now, so if you can get it at a good price, it would definitely make a great deal. So, let me know what you think about it. And if you own one, let me know if you're getting a similar experience to me. And if not, definitely let me know in the comments. So, subscribe for more great content, and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.